If you're looking to get all the information from the Cardano 2021 Summit, but don't want to have to sit through hours and hours of technical videos, this is the video for you. The main takeaway from Charles Hoskinson's opening keynote speech is that Satoshi got it right with the UTXO model, but just didn't have the knowledge or capabilities to take it to its logical conclusion. Now, through Cardano, that vision can be realized. It was noted during the summit by certain companies currently building on Cardano, that not only was their application better served by the UTXO model, but that some projects just simply aren't possible with the standard accounting model that exists on Ethereum. Partnership with Dish or Boost Mobile was announced. Dish planned to incentivize customers to use their network by implementing a better reward system. They imagine a world where you can earn rewards instead of those rewards being limited to three minutes or data. They can be exchanged on an open marketplace of goods for whatever you want. Bitcoin, ADA, silver, etc. The value of the ability to exchange these tokenized goods outside of a closed system cannot be understated. Imagine if you could have sold your higher booster helmet from Halo 3 straight into GBP, meaning when you stop playing, you could be rewarded for the fruits of your time and effort and the energy you put in hasn't been lost to that closed system. The Chainlink Partnership with smart contracts just recently launched and Cardano eager to create a thriving DeFi ecosystem on the blockchain, the partnership will see Cardano integrate Chainlink's oracles to support developers as they prepare to start building smart contracts for decentralized finance applications. The top interesting projects for me from Catalyst were Cornucopia's NFT game and Wi-Fi hotspots in Africa. Play multiplayer world where players can hang out with their friends, explore the lands, and play a variety of mini games to build up their collections and earn real world value, with each aspect of the game being playable alone or with friends. What you've been seeing on screen is a collection of the island zones, each with a unique theme and range of mini games built around that theme. Over the course of the development, real world businesses will also be given the opportunity to purchase digital land giving them the opportunity to showcase their business and create incentives for visitors. A Ticketmaster, for example, could use this opportunity to sell tickets to real or virtual world events. The possibilities are endless. The entire island is created around NFT technology, allowing the players to earn, buy, sell or trade any NFT they have acquired in-game or purchased on our online NFT marketplace. The beauty of the island is that every NFT unlocked can be used within the game, meaning a player can play the game with their favourite character and show off all the NFTs they've unlocked to other players in the world. Or if the player would rather sell off their NFTs for in-game or real-world value, they can do so freely. On top of minigames and exploring the world, we also have plans to expand the game into a similar style of the game, Roblox or Minecraft, where players can not only purchase land, but can expand the game on their own terms producing their own buildings and mini-games which can also be traded off as NFTs. These projects could turn into something substantial like the QR code tracking with Buyer's Wine. This allows for detailed data visualization built from every touchpoint and interaction along Buyer's wine supply chain journey. Shruti from IOHK talking about dApps and the ability for transparency through the auditing of the system, which is key to any successful large-scale partnership with Enterprise. Which brings us forwards to the partnership with Oasis Capital. The Oasis Pro technology facilitates digital cash for digital security transactions. And the use of a Cardano blockchain to remove the need for intermediaries, such as banks from the process, which will cut trading fees by half. The combined platform provides a viable and secure financing alternative for governments and developing nations. Oasis have this to say. Developing nations often lack the access to overseas capital that other nations have. We want to ensure that this changes. IO's global vision to democratize opportunity aligns closely with our desire to ensure access to financial markets for developing nations. And this partnership represents a key step in enabling greater accessibility to international capital markets for those that require it. The Tunnel of Prism's presentation a partnership with Accuant, the leading global trusted identity platform for fraud prevention and AML compliance. And we also see the Light Wallet with a planned Atala Prism integration. Don Tapscott gives a great speech on the history of technological advancement 
and how certain technologies were perceived in their infancy compared to how they're perceived 20 plus years later, with specific reference to both the telephone and internet age. Emergo news. Emergo partnership with blockchain 4A starter for Cardano DEX, as well as launch pads for IDOs and the lending and borrowing platform. Announcement that investment will be made to accelerate the growth of the Cardano ecosystem, with the current fund sitting at $100 million. And the first investment is a tech incubator in Kenya. Ben is always working on some crazy stuff. The most interesting from the summit is the current AI DSL, which allows AIs providing services to interact and communicate with other AI in order to make more efficient and cheaper systems through self-organization. The AI DSL, which we hope to roll out to end users sometime next year, I mean, this is, is one pretty cool in the works example of something we'll do with that with singular you know, on cardano that we, we weren't able to do able to do on ethereum and then randomly paul oakenfold comes out of nowhere with his business partner to discuss the value of a system like cardano in enfranchising artists to be able to profit from their creative endeavors in new and exciting ways the artists who have historically not done so well with the way that this no and 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 honestly i love that um you know i think that's really important you know what you're doing and you know for for us it's you know for me especially it's really interesting look i'm learning i don't know everything about it i want to listen to you hear what you're saying and most importantly i think for all of us you know, you're a pioneer. You, you, you know, as I am in music and a lot of my colleagues, you're doing great things. So that's what we're all about. Yep. Right. So finally, in the closing keynote, Charles announced a far deeper partnership with Coty. Cardano and Coty are partnering to bring the Jed stablecoin. Hello, Wyoming. Tell me a little bit about Jed. Um, well, currencies will be digital in the future, nobody can deny that, and stable coins are going to be a major part of it, and JED is one of the most sophisticated algorithmic-based uh, stable coins out there, uh, and it's more than just a stable coin for payments or DeFi, this will be important in, uh, on the protocol level to have prediction of cost. What do you think was the most exciting announcement from the 2021 summit? And would you like a deep dive on any of these specific partnerships or announcements? Please leave a comment below and I'll know where to direct my attention. Until next time, take it easy.